Hey, what is going on, good people? My name is Gene 3 and welcome back to another Fast and Furious Cloud Car review where today, yes, we're taking a look at Dom's Char Dark Charger, but this is the 124 scale. Yes, the reason why I say that is because I did previously do a review of, th of this guy, which is the 132 scale, and uh, yes, it's pretty close to the camera. So this box is massive. Like, I did a size comparison. Just taking a look at this, just picking up the camera here. Yeah, it's massive. So yeah, hopefully I can, I'm actually my review camera at the edge of my view area. Yeah, hopefully I don't like knock stuff over. But uh, yeah, this is huge. And yes, I am showing you how I would display actual cars because I don't want this actually get dusty, like the actual car itself inside in this kind of protection case. But yeah, you can see the actual vehicle also, but I choose to have it facing that direction because yes, the driver sits on this side compared to is uh, Brian's skyline, where it's kind of on the other side. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, this, this is a Dodge Charger 1970 from the first Fast and Furious movie. I don't know. And ne again, I repeat, I have not seen the Fast and Furious movie. So, I don't know if this is just in the first one. But also, again, yes, I'm wearing gloves because there's a whole lot of chrome here. And I don't want to give any fingerprints on this because it's going to be take a hard, it's, it's going to be hard to wipe it off. And I will say that though, this is not what you would get out of package or hold in a tape. So I took out all the restraining bolts, cut off all the tape, and I just make it kind of presentable. And yes, I will say that if you do have tape and you, and you don't really mind displaying this with the tape on, I will point out certain parts where tape is intended and yes this has added features that the 132 scale doesn't have because obviously too small to fit in so uh yeah again spin on the side yeah you do have the actual dodge charger which really doesn't look like the one in the box yeah right here you, you do have a uh, dominic toretto or uh vin d dominic toretto vin diesel or groot the guy who was groot yeah, apparently he's also doing a, like a live action character or something. I don't remember what it, what it was, but uh, yeah. If this car looks familiar and I did make a Marvel reference. Yes, this is the same car that uh, that Ghost Rider drives in, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So yeah, this is basically just, I don't know if it's the exact same year, but uh. 1969 1970 on only two on only years that have the actual charger with engine block on top so uh yes and on the back again just the same as the 132 seal except for minus ripsaw yes i know you guys can't see it but uh i'm trying not to pan over too far because i do have a thing in the future to review over on the right side again i know you guys haven't actually seen it yet because i don't want to spoil too much but yeah I have seen this in the 124 scale. I have not seen the 132 version. I have not seen this in uh, Mr. Little Nobody. If you guys don't know, apparently that's Scott Eastwood. I don't know. Like, just look up Clint Eastwood. Yeah, apparently, I think they're related. I don't know. I'm not really that into movies. But yeah, Scott Eastwood. Or if you guys have watched Pacific Rim, yeah, same guy, Scott Eastwood. So, uh, yeah, you get the Dodge Charge RT, which is the exact same, so, uh, yeah, so let's kind of do an unboxing here, kind of reveal, but yeah, so, uh, let's take this out and, uh, make sure I don't knock over anything. Yes, this is a lot heavier because this is all 100% metal, and first thing I will talk about is that, I don't know if the camera's coming across, but, uh, yeah, tape, if there's tape here to hold actual hood of the car because if you don't apparently it doesn't want to fall out oh well but when I did get the actual one this one was actually oh great well now you don't want to fall out but yeah it's not very not so secure but this I mean, you don't want to pull on the engine block because this is secured at the bottom but uh yeah oh well, good job apparently not falling out but the tape the tape was there to hold the actual like the hood of the car in place because one the hood is actually not attached to anything is for shipping purposes so well yeah as you see 
there we go. It actually pops off. So it's kind of actually like hoping there's actually more just like this so you can see more fuel things. But uh, yeah, this actually does pop off. So the tape is there just to prevent this one moving to, during the shipping. And there's no attachment. So if you do see kind of a jar, or it's kind of skew slightly on the actual when you get this in a package, don't worry. It's meant to actually kind of detach a little so you, for kids, but again, yes, this is a collector's item. Again, it still says A plus on the package, but uh, yeah, only people above like the age of like 16 will naturally understand the significance of actually this car. Apparently, every fan of the Fast and Furious franchise really actually likes this. So, uh, yeah, this actually rolls very well. Very well. Hopefully, I'm not knocking stuff around. Like, hopefully, I don't break my camera. But yeah, this rolls very well. Even more well, even better than man. Did I speak English. Even better than the actual 132 scale. And uh, yeah, it rolls very well. You got the nice chrome rims. It's the same thing in there, but it's a lot more detailed because, of course, obviously, there's a lot more room. But uh, yeah, we'll be doing repairs in there. Now, taking a look at details. Obviously, apparently, this one doesn't actually have. An actual like side view mirror. Apparently, yes. In all times, when you're driving, you only need a left mirror, the driver's side mirror, whereas the right one, because you had the view view mirror, and you can just look in the back for if you want to change lanes to the right. So yeah, that's only for the driver's side. But uh, yeah, just opening the doors. Both these doors do open all the way, and I uh, yes, I really couldn't show you with a rip saw, but there were actually brake pedals, but uh. Yeah, you can see Diamond Toretto's chromed out stuff and nice seats and stuff, but uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the big pedal over on the right is the actual gas, but I don't And then there's a parking brake, which is the one on the far left. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, that, that big one on the, on the right, largest one. I that's a gas pedal. The middle, the one next to it, like right, right. Can't really point there because my finger's too fat. But uh, yeah, using a pin. Uh, that's right, right there. That's the gas. And I believe this one right here is the. It's just manual brake on the vehicle. I believe this is the shift, like the clutch pedal. Like you hold it down in order to shift from one gear to another. And I believe this is the parking brake. I don't remember if this is actually like in the actual movie. But I'm pretty sure they have like a camera here to show where his feet are. What where Vin Diesel's feet are doing. But yeah, keep here. You do have nice detailing here on the inside. Now, I don't know if you guys... Wow. You can see they actually did like put like actual... Come on, focus there, camera. Camera wants to focus on the But yeah, you can, you can see... There's actually like a speedometer in there and an RPM meter. I don't know what it actually says in there. Hold on, hold on. No, if my camera doesn't want to focus on it. It, it actually says RPM right on there. Wow. The amount of effort Jada Toys to come and actually make this. The amount of effort they put into actually, like, it actually sets RPM. You can't see this with your own eyes because it's actually really tiny. And actually, like, little numbers on the side, like 10, 20, whatever. Jeez, that's a lot, that's a lot of effort. And it's really worth the actual 15, uh, well, yeah. It's actually worth the 14 ounce because, yes, this is what I'm seeing uh, right from my own eyes. You can't see this, but you actually have to zoom in with an actual like, camera or something. But yeah, taking a look at the actual interior, you do have just that. I mean, and on the other side, I mean, you do have the gas cap here, and we'll show you another feature back here. But yeah, just that for passenger or something. I don't remember if Dominic Toretto ever had a passenger, but yeah. Closing these doors, and before I actually get to the actual detail, just taking, just getting the size comparison out of the way. I'm going to be bringing out the 132 sale, hopefully I can... So I don't know, but uh, yeah, bringing out the 132 skill and he's just compared this has this one has a matte finish, which is just like there's no claws, there's no reflectiveness. 
Here's a metallic, complete, well, completely metallic finish. Just like the actual rims. But, uh, yeah. This, this is a fingerprint bandit, which is why I'm actually wearing gloves. Because I don't actually want to get fingerprint on it, just so you can see the size difference. 132 scale. 124 scale. The amount of detail on this is actually effortless. This says RT on there. I, this does not say RT because it really couldn't fit much. And uh, I don't believe this actually had an actual. No, this does not. Did not actually have an actual like speedometer like this one had. Which I applaud Jada Toys for trying to squeeze every little detail in there. Amazing effort, A plus for effort for this. But actually, not A plus, just an A for effort because some of the screws on this, like for this one. We'll talk about this at the end, but I did get two different set of screws, like a pair of screws. I do have the screws right here. I will show you what it is, but yeah, on here you do have, oh, and also, pick up here, I noticed they put in a lot of chrome effort in here, but yeah, just taking off at the actual wheel itself, there's incredible amount of detail, and uh, yeah, you do see the actual brake pads. If you look here, you can see this one of detail. This one didn't have it because obviously it's a little too small. But yeah, you do see the brake, the natural, like, with the disc, like, that spins when you actually drive it. But yeah, you do see the chrome now, like, these else. This one's here. Chrome oh, words. This one actually isn't. But, uh, yeah, you also the back one. Oh, this one. Natural hood is about to fall off. But yeah, I'm. But yeah, put them sound so I can actually zoom in. You can see this is 124 DOS charger. You do the product number, using a license. And yes, it's a company Jada Toys. Yes, again, amazing effort that's put in on all the details again. What I was talking about for Phillips size screw, this is like the plus size screwdriver. Not the plus size. It's a Screwdriver that looks like it's plus sign, not a plus sign. Jesus, my English is all wrong. But uh, yeah, now another detailing. Obviously, well, you can clearly see a brake pad here, and also the reflectiveness. Now, they really didn't have to do this. Like Jada Toys and how to do this, but uh, yeah, the trunk, or if you guys are in England or somewhere else, that foreign. But uh, yeah, the boot, the car is actually just it actually opens i mean didn't have to do it but uh yeah but compare that to this this huge difference now i did see this again this the 132 scale in a matte finish where it wasn't reflective and uh you know, just to show a metallic finish one you can see the camera you can also see me but uh, yeah this is no reflective in the matte paint it's not like metallic paint like this. Whereas, yeah, this is just a little bit of fingerprint magnet. Now, again, this is a very rare find, the 132 scale. But yeah, I'd be more likely to display this on the shelf when I compare that to this. I'd probably be, well, unless if you want to put it in your office or something where it's like a lot, not as dusty as my house because, well, that just gets everywhere. You don't really move after like a week or so. That just settles everywhere. But uh, yeah, just detailing again. Yes, you do have the engine block, which is the exact same thing, but on a bigger scale, of the 132 version. And yeah, you can see I'll see my light, and there's also light right behind, right there. So yeah, this fan light. But uh, yeah, oh, but yeah, the tag shows it should be red. I know it seems red, but I'm, but I'm as you saw in this here. I'm actually I'm wearing a red shirt, so uh, yeah. Like the internal internal should be red. Internal. What am I talking about? But uh, yeah. So just overall, this is worth the price of four, around fourteen dollars, seven twenty dollars. But thing is, Jada Toys tends to like screw things on a bit too tight, or just. Like not make the screws like worth it. Just to actually do like a comparison. I right, let me show you the two screws that I actually did get 
on on mind. These are the two screws. The so one on the left is a standard, not standard, just a Phillips head where you can actually put like the plus sign uh, screwdriver into this. This one actually did not have a full, completely molding it up and down. So you, so I could not put in a Phillips head screwdriver. So uh, yeah, as you can see, there's kind of warping because I tried to do it until I realized it actually wasn't unscrewing. So, I, so you had to use flathead again. You can use a flathead for this because the, the the horizontal ones you can see right right now, that like that fits a flathead screwdriver. So yeah, flathead screwdriver, true, uh, flathead screwdriver can go in the Phillips head a uh, screw. But not the other way around. Phillips head can't go through a flathead because obviously flat shaped cars. Yeah, luckily I had a flathead around, so yeah, I could unscrew this and actually cut this out. But yeah, that that's my only kind of major nitpick was what well, not really major nitpick for this actual one. I'm pretty sure if you get yours in the store, you won't actually have two like a deformed Phillips head screw. So uh yeah, again, that's gonna wrap it up again. Before I actually close this off, I I can see I see that 99% of my viewers aren't subscribers, so yeah. Most of my viewers come from now okay? So if you do want to be constantly be noti notified whenever I upload, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you do want to hit that bell, hit that like bell next to it, just feel free. It but it, it'll it'll alert you whenever I upload, which is usually on Wednesdays, like sometime in early afternoon. So yeah. So that's, that's just my plug for the end of this video. So yeah, again, if you've enjoyed, please be sure to hit that subscribe button for all you 99% of my viewers that aren't even subscribed to me. So uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and fly hard pilot.